Hi, betting experts. On Wednesday, March the 20th, we're off to Haydock for a competitive midweek card. The ground has dried out a touch, although there's rain forecast on Wednesday at the time of recording, so I should imagine it's going to be pretty testing. We start off with our betting expert daily nap, sponsored by Bet365. This goes in the 245. It's the Maximum Echo for Biotechnology Novices Limited Handicap Chase. Two mile four, class three, five-year-olds and upwards, nearly eight grand to the winner. A small but select field of fairly progressive young horses and I think Prairie Wolf can win for the third time over fences for Sue Smith now Sue has been a bit quiet in the last couple of weeks though not had many runners naught from nine in the past 14 days Prairie Wolf has been a really good advert for the, the yard since going chasing this winter gradually running himself fit after 167 days off shaping quite nicely on his chasing debut market raising in November then winning a really competitive Doncaster handicap on good to soft ground on the 15th of December jumping really well pulling clear with McLean and seeing that rival off he then went to Cheltenham he ran a screamer finished fourth behind Ginny's Destiny in a race that's worked out superbly not least the winner coming out of the festival last week and running a screamer in defeat then back to Catrick sights lowered I think probably found the track sharp enough but still managed to land a short price from the fairly promising Carrageen Castle that came off a mark of 123 has gone up £7 makes life tougher but I think the key these fences are much more demanding it's a much more galloping track on softer ground and all those three things are big positives for Prairie Wolf Nick Schofield knows him well he's likely to be fairly positive and forward I would think lacks a turn of foot Prairie Wolf but is very game and genuine and keeps finding which up the long haydock straight should be ideal our betting expert value angle selection sponsored by Bet365 goes in the 350, the Greyland 25th anniversary handicap chase. This is a real test of stamina. Three mile, four furlongs and 97 yards. Class three, five-year-olds and upwards. Eight and a half grand to the winner. I think Jubilee Express can finally get off the mark over fences at the fifth attempt. They come from the Sam Thomas yard. They've got some lovely young horses this season. Jubilee Express was a winning hurdler that came on testing ground at Hereford. So these can Conditions should be no bother at all. Um, has run this season uh, three times over fences, needing the run at Ludlow first time out in November when well beaten, but showing a lot more at Exeter behind top of the bill in a race that's worked out really well over three miles on soft ground. Last time at Lingfield, the cash arrived, a nine to four favourite, just beaten by Wider Galley over a pretty stamina sapping trip there that he goes over again today. The pair of them 16 lengths clear of the third. Um, it was a really good effort and there's nothing wrong with Jubilee Express's attitude he's just getting better and better each time over fences he's proven his stamina Sam's up again this afternoon uh, likely to get a pretty positive ride and this looks a really good opportunity with conditions to suit best of luck on Wednesday betting experts and please remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos <laughs>